This conference will now be recorded. All right. Yesterday we talked about basic accounts payable and basic accounts receivable accounting entries or journal entries. Today let's talk about how we are going to define basic accounts payable setting and how we will create a vendor account in your ECC and in your S4 HANA system. So now whatever we are going to do is only with respect to configuration. We are not going to discuss in detail about the requirement what and how we will get when you're in a project for accounts payable that we will discuss in the next session. First, we will try to understand how configuration is done for the basic accounts payable and how a vendor master is created. Once we create one vendor at least, then we will be talking about the actual requirement, actual configuration process that you will be doing when you're in a project. Okay, so now we are only going to understand the basic configuration steps along with one vendor master creation. Now I'll write accounts payable baseline configuration So first one I'll put in ECC environment. Okay, in ECC system, how we are going to do basic accounts payable configuration, let's try to understand. Now, to do any baseline configuration for your accounts payable, first we need to understand the IMG path where we are going to define accounts payable configuration in SAP. To do accounts payable configuration, you will be going to SPRO. Go to SPRO. Now, I am on ECC server, SAP reference IMG, financial accounting in you. In this, you will find accounts receivable and accounts payable. Open this one. You are not supposed to open contract accounts receivable and payable. This is part of FICA module. That is something called FICA. Contract accounts payable and receivable. This contract accounts receivable and payable it is considered as FICA module in SAP. So you will have to open accounts receivable and accounts payable. Expand this. In this, you will find customer accounts, vendor accounts. Any configuration related to accounts payable is performed under vendor accounts. Any config related to accounts receivable is performed under customer accounts. Go to vendor accounts because we want to do accounts payable. Open this. In this, you have master data, you have line items, you have balances. Currently, what we are going to do is you are going to define baseline configuration in order to create a vendor master. So go to master data. In master data, you have different settings. In master data, you have different settings. So we will be doing the settings at the first stage, which is your preparation for creating vendor master data. Open this one. If you open this, you will find a different different settings that are available here. Now to see a configuration T code against the IMG path, you will have to do a setting on your screen. To do that, go to menu bar, click on additional information. From this additional information, go to additional information once again. From here, display key and here click on IMG activity. If you go to additional information, display key, IMG activity, you will be able to see the transaction code for each IMG activity or each configuration path. Expand this additional information. First one, what we are going to do is we are going to do account group creation with the screen layout. Let me copy this. Define account groups with the screen layout rule. I'll put this here. Okay. And let me also take the T code for this last four digits are represented as your transaction code. In this last four digits are OBD3. I am going to write OBD3 here. Here I'll put OBD3. This is the transaction code. 
once this is done the second step that we will be doing here is next one is this one create number ranges for vendor accounts copy this create number ranges for vendor accounts put this as the second step for this create number ranges for vendor account look at the transaction code last four digits of this img path additional activity is your xkn1 this xkn1 will become your transaction code xkn1 next setting that you will be doing here is assign number ranges to vendor account groups copy this path go to excel sheet put this as third step and for assignment of number ranges to vendor account group your transaction code is obas put the t code here obas now other settings are as of now not needed the other settings are dependent on the different different business scenarios which we will be doing according to the scenarios that we come across but to start off with your accounts payable these are the key settings that we will have to do in order to create a vendor master record okay now what i am going to do i am going to use img path only since we are already there to create this account group but before we create this account group i am going to take only one account group as an example i'll create account group i'll write as local vendors this local vendor will be our account group requirement and the number range for the local group we will see according to the availability of the numbers so let's assume that you are going to create account group called local vendors first one what we will do we'll go to this define account group with a screen layout for vendors let's go to this path define account groups with a screen layout for vendors to open this path you'll have to click on this circle bar or this clock icon click on this so it will open this this one and this is your obd3 transaction code if you want to access the screen through t code obd3 is the t code here click on new entries when you click on new entries it is asking for the account group now we do not know what is the account group that we are going to create basically this account group code is part of your kds document key data structure document in the kds document we are going to document what account groups are required what will be the code for this what will be the description of it what number ranges we are going to assign it so from your kds document you are going to look at the content and you are going to configure it when you are actually in a project we will be defining that kds document content and all in the next session so as of now i am going to create one account group for the understanding and for initial practice purpose we thought that local vendors i am going to put the description as local vendors for or i'll i'll put test local vendors i am going to write test local vendor because this is the practice purpose account group we are not going to use this actually in our company code as regular practice since for you to practice to get a clarity to get an idea we are going to use it so i'm not writing our actual naming conventions here i'm just putting test local vendors now i am going to write account group as test so this will be your four digit you can put four digits you can put one digit two digit three digit also but maximum length will be four digit alpha numeric give your account group four digit code description hit enter on the keyboard okay when you press enter on the keyboard if you do not find any messages at the bottom which means this test account group is available for usage if somebody had already created this test group you will get an error message the number already or the code already exists since this is available for usage 
I am going to save this as of now we are not touching anything we will be understanding this in detail for our actual configuration account group four digit identification plus description of it straight away proceed to save this is asking for a TR we know where to save you will be saving in one of your existing TRs click on continue while this gets saved let me go to excel sheet account group what we have defined is test test is the vendor account group that we have defined next one is create number ranges for vendor accounts let's go to sap again now meanwhile if you see this it is giving a table name called t077k right? this is giving a table name t077k this t077k is used for vendor account groups all your vendor account groups are used in t077k what about gl account groups any idea obd3 let me check if this, this is got saved or not test is what we have created this is not saved let me add once again new entries this ECC server is really slow today it's getting disconnected frequently OBD3 Locked by AJ01, which is my ID, SM12, AJ01. Delete the lock entries. Yes. OBD3. Add a new entry. We created as test, test local vendors. Click on save continue okay now the account group has been created next one is to create number ranges for creating number ranges we will be using xkn1 t code open xkn1 go to change intervals straight away from the change intervals you will have to find out one existing number range which is free to use for that option number one you can find out the number range from here option number two when you go to interval on the menu bar when you go to interval on the menu bar you will have to click on free intervals so that system is going to display all the number ranges that are not used so far that can be used for your purpose this kind of number ranges you will find only in the test environment when you're in the practical system when you're in your actual client system this number range screen will be completely blank whatever the number range you want you will be creating it since in the test environment everybody creates different different number ranges you will have to compromise on this I'll go to intervals on the menu bar click on free intervals if you click on free intervals this is what system is giving all these number ranges are ready to be used so what I am going to use I am going to take the first one because it is a test purpose I'll take this one you will have to assign a two digit number range interval let me take as TE since I have taken their test I am taking TE here I'll click on continue let's go down to find our TE TE is added here this is your 1000 to but even when you create do not use so many numbers because we are not going to create this 1000 
199 sorry 199 vendors we will not be creating what i will do i'll just take 1020 number ranges okay i'm going to take only 20 ranges 20 numbers so that from 21 onwards this range is again open click on save Not sure this is really slow today. We were doing XKN1. So I'll add TE. We knew what number ranges we were taking from 1000 to 1020. Click on save. Now, if you see here, when I give 1000, I give 1000, right? So this is here 1000 to 1020. Click on save. Okay, continue. Remember whenever you create number ranges, there will be no TR request So in the Excel sheet, let me put this we have created as TE number range interval Next one assignment of number range intervals to vendor account group This setting is created separately. This is setting is created separately Now we need to connect this setting with this setting by way of assignment to do that you have the T code OBAS Go to OBAS. OBAS This is really slow. I'm not sure what is the problem OBAS in this go to position select the account group that we have created which is test and this again not working Okay, against this, let's assign the number range that we created, which is T and proceed to save. Enter. Okay, these are the initial three steps that we will have to do in order to create accounts payable baseline config in SAP ECC. Only the three configuration steps for baseline AP setup. Once these three settings are completed, we are good to create a master record for vendor. So what I'll do now. I'll just put a different color for this next one vendor master creation for vendor master creation you need accounts payable 
reconciliation GL account. Okay, for vendor master creation, we need accounts payable reconciliation GL account. We were talking about account group called local vendors. If you have an account group for local vendor, you must have a GL account for local vendor accounts payable. Okay, for every account group, there should be a dedicated reconciliation GL account created. Since we have local vendors as accounts payable account group, we must create this local vendor as one of your GL account for reconciliation for vendor. To do that, let's go to SAP. We need one company code. Anybody has a company code in ECC system? Nothing what I'll do. Now, so far, whatever the settings we have done are not company code specific. Your accounts payable baseline config is client level so that these settings can be used by all your company codes. Or if it is the foreign vendor, we will create a like different GL for that one. Correct. For every account group, there will be a different GL account. I don't think we have any company code in this. So what I'll do, I'll take any one existing company code and then do it. We'll create one vendor in any of the existing company codes. Or any of you created any company code in ECC server? Anyone has any company code in this? Create session. I think this is again timed out. Oh, okay. I'll go to FS00. Okay, let me take this GSK company code. In this GSK, let me go to accounts payable account group. Accounts payable is here. In this accounts payable, let us select or let us create one new GL account. To create a new GL account, let me copy the existing one because we need the same numbering sequence. I'll click on copy this. There's no change in the GL account creation. It is the same way that you create the normal GL accounts. Ensure that you are going to pick the right account group, right GL account number. Once you give this, Select PL account or balance sheet account. This is a balance sheet account. Put tick mark on balance sheet account. Then let's change the description as according to our requirement. This is your local vendors. I am going to copy Okay, I'm going to put accounts payable local vendors. Something like this, you're going to put the description. Next one, go to control data. In control data, you have to ensure that this is a reconciliation account because we are going to use it for vendor creation purpose. All the vendors that are created, all the vendors that are created will have to be assigned with a reconciliation account for vendors. So when you are going to create a vendor master data, whatever the GL account that contains reconciliation account type SK, this GL account list will appear in your vendor master creation. 
according to the vendor account group that you have chosen or nature of a vendor that you are going to create you are going to select respective accounts payable GL account for that to happen to make a GL account as a reconciliation account or a sub ledger account we must assign reconciliation account for account type you'll have to select whether this GL account is going to be used as a recon account for customer vendor or fixed asset accordingly you need to select K for customer D for sorry D for customer K for vendor A for asset these three we will be using once you select this one you'll have to tick line item display soft key 001 for any reconciliation account you are not going to select open item management because any reconciliation account is by default open item managed next go to create a bank interest from create bank interest you need to ensure for all the reconciliation accounts your field status group will be g067 take this g067 and ensure the only changes you have to give reconciliation account type as vendor field status group as g067 apart from that there is no change in the gl master that you have created so far let me click on save okay this gl is created now i am going to copy this gl account plus the company code this is gl account in gsk this will be the company code gl account t code will be fs00 now we are good to go ahead with the vendor master creation now vendor master creation transaction code will be fk01 or xk01 if you are going to create a finance vendor you will be using fk01 f represents finance if you are going to create vendor centrally which means finance plus purchasing side of the vendor you are going to use xk01 okay normally any vendor that you create you will be using fk01 because as a fico consultant we will be creating finance vendors only so let's go to fk01 slash n fk01 if you go to fk01 it is asking for a company code we have given company code gsk it's asking for the account group in which account group you want to create the vendor this is exactly same like how you are creating a GL account to create any GL account GL account group is mandatory similarly to create any vendor account vendor account group is mandatory vendor account group that we created was test select a test and vendor number you are not going to give anything because we will be using internal numbering system if you use internal number range or internal numbering system number range will be taken automatically by the system at the time of saving just give company code account group click on create or click on enter on the keyboard when you click on this you are going to get a screen like this create vendor you will have different different segments in the vendor master data okay this part will remain constant create vendor next to create vendor currently you are at address segment you are giving the address data of the vendor account you will have to select title let's say i'll select company i'll put something like dmart india just an example i am creating you will have a new vendor approval request form in front of you by looking at that new vendor approval form we will be creating the vendor master search term i'll put dmart street and house number street slash house number first field is a street second field is house number i'll put groceries street house number 10 postal code slash city first one is postal code second one is city i'll say 400 800 
I'm just giving any random six digit code as postal code. City I'll write as Mumbai. Next one country. Country is India. India is identified by IN. Next one region. Region represents state in India. Mumbai we are taking. Let's take Maharashtra which is 1313. Okay, after giving up the relevant information, you need to press enter on the keyboard. If you press enter on the keyboard, if this screen has got all the required information filled up, it will automatically take you to the next screen. The moment you press enter, you will be on the next screen. To see where exactly you are, you need to focus on this. Next to create vendor, there is a tab called address. Right, you are able to see this address. Option number one, I can press enter on the keyboard. I'll go to the next screen. Now, if you see this, it has gone to control. Option number two, I can click on this previous screen or I can click on next screen. In short, F7, F8 on the keyboard to switch between the previous screen and the next screen. Now, in control data, currently we are not filling up anything. I'll go to next screen. Here also, I'm not going to filling up anything. This is related to your vendor bank account information. This also I'm leaving it blank. Contact persons also I'm leaving it blank. Next one accounting information for accounting. This is very important. So what we are going to do here is you are going to use a reconciliation account. We understood every accounts payable reconciliation GL account is used for creating any vendor master data. If you open the drop down here, you are going to get three GL accounts or all the GL accounts that are mapped as reconciliation account for account type K in your FS00. So far, there are three GL accounts wherein your accounts payable reconciliation is mapped as K. From these three reconciliation GL accounts, you need to pick one account. Now our intention is to create a local vendor. Check where is the local vendor related accounts payable GL account. This is the local vendor related GL account which we've created just now. Select this GL account. Next one sort key as usual 001. Next one there is one more mandatory field called cash management group. This we will not be using. We will deactivate when we actually configure the system. For now, since it is a mandatory field, just open the drop down, select any one cash management group. I'll select, let's say, domestic payments A1. And other settings are not relevant as of now. Every setting has got a different functionality. We will be talking about those functionalities and make the settings to test how this is actually working. Just like that, even when you're creating the vendor master, don't fill up all the irrelevant information fill up the information only if you are aware of that functionality only if you are testing it right next go to the next screen payment transaction this is also currently we are not using anything correspondence we are not using this is the last screen it is asking you to save or not because you've reached the last screen you pressed enter again so on the last screen you can press yes to save the vendor master or when you know that what information you are filling up once you feel that this is the last data that we are giving you can straight away click on save or create on that screen itself now let me click on save yes now this is giving a message account 1000 already exists now, this is one of the common errors that you receive when you're practicing. When you're practicing, why this error message will come is somebody had already created this number range as a vendor, but later on, the, there is some issue with the server. The number ranges have been reset. So in the system database, this 1000 number is already registered as a vendor. That is why it is giving this message. Press enter. Now our vendor is not created. If we go to XKN1, which is your number range once again, click on display intervals. Let's go to 
TE. If you go to TE, we have used 1000 to 1020. But what is the NR status here? 1004 is the NR status, which means the current number is 1004. So you will have to do this four times, then you will be able to create a vendor because these four numbers are already registered in the system. That is why when you are trying to give the number, it is giving the message. So what we will do, let's see if we can change the NR status from number to number status. I'll go to change intervals. Unfortunately, from change interval or the number range from TE, we are unable to edit this from number. We are unable to edit. Correct? From number, we are not able to edit. So what I need to do, we need to do this two times to come out of this current number and then create a new vendor. I'll quickly do that since there are only three numbers. Otherwise, you can use another number range. I'll put FK01. Enter. I'm only going to fill up the mandatory information because we know we are going to receive an error message. Recon account, something you put, save it. 1001 already exists because there the current number is 4. Enter. Now these kind of things will never come when you are in a project. These things are coming only in your test server. So don't think much about it. Don't even try to understand what is this error. This is a dummy error. Clara, you have to clearly understand what kind of errors we are getting, whether we get these kind of errors when you're in a project or these are the errors that we are going to receive only during the practice. Three, I've done. There the number ranges is showing as four. Four also already exist. All right. Now let's check the number range status there. What it is showing. Intervals. If you go down. This is 1004. Now, if you create a new vendor once again, we have to get vendor number 1005 as creation. Our vendor should now get successfully created as 1005. Let's try to create the vendor in a proper way now. FK01, account group and company code, enter. This one will be company. This is DMART India, DMART, whatever I have given, I'm giving here. Groceries, street, street number 10, Mumbai. Okay, here we have not given anything. Nothing here. Reconciliation account we have given. Sort key and cash management group. After this, we did not fill any other information. Straight away, you can click on save. And you have to know what information you are filling up. Once you know this is what you need to fill up for your initial vendor master creation. After that, you don't need to go until the last screen. Straight away, you can click on save. Now, when I click on save, I am getting another message. 1005 already exists. Right? But my vendor is not getting created. Let's go back here. XKN1 once again. Intervals. Now it is showing as 1009. Now something is happening which is very weird. Right earlier it was showing 4. Now it is showing 9. So when these kind of things are happening straight away change the number range. Don't use this number range. Change or switch to a different number range. Right at these kind of things you are not supposed to think too much. Because these things will never happen when you are in any project. These are exclusive errors. In your test system I logged off let me log in once again so 
so what I'm going to do I'm going to check number ranges once again let me assign this 0 1 number range okay I'll go to our screen where we assigned the number ranges to our account group OBAS in OBAS for test we have assigned TE I'll change this to 0 1 I'm just making an existing number range to our company code account group specific now let me try to create vendor once again FK 0 1 So something is wrong with this ACC server. FK01. GSK and test company DMART enter next screen straight away we were giving reconciliation account sort key and cash management group now let me click on save Okay, now with this number, the system has generated a number range. You got vendor account created in company code GSK. Now, so far, if you notice, did we assign this settings to your company code anywhere? When you created vendor account group, you just created vendor account group. When you created number range, you just created a number range. When you assigned this number range to vendor account group, we were not mentioning about company code anywhere. Am I correct? Correct. We did not mention our company code anywhere until we are about to or until we were creating a vendor master. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Right. Now your accounts payable, your accounts payable configuration is client specific. Especially the baseline configuration is client specific, which means when you define the accounts payable setup, the same accounts payable setup is used by all your company codes. If you are operating with 10 company codes, your 10 company codes are going to use same accounts payable settings. Let's say now you created this company, this vendor in company code GSK. You got vendor number 10032. Assuming another company code which is your GSK1, GSK2, whatever is creating another vendor, they will also put the same account group account group is common for everybody account group is common for everybody when the next company code or when another company code is trying to create a vendor they are not going to receive the same number they will receive the next number 32 they will receive 33 another company is creating next one they will get 34 and so on because you are not supposed to create company code specific vendor account groups if this is all client specific setting even if somebody is asking you be very clear that this is client level setting you are going to create accounts payable or vendor account groups whatever at client level so that all your company codes will share the same vendor account groups clear huh? this is how you are going to define basic accounts payable and you are going to create vendor master data any complication in this Did you find any difficulty in this? There are only five stages, five steps. First one, you created vendor account group. Next one, you created number ranges. Third one, you assigned number ranges to account group. Fourth one, you created GL master record. Fifth one, you created 
vendor master after this it's all about your transaction posting you will be posting vendor invoice you will be posting vendor credit memo you will be posting vendor payment and down payment so this is a straightforward to run the basic accounts payable scenario but from the config point of view is it simple or anything complex simple this is very simple now things from now on are not going to take much time so far whatever the baseline config you have done if your baseline config is up to date is clear and you are clear with the conceptual understanding of your baseline these things are all just add-ons these things are not going to take a lot of time like you took for your baseline config these are just like that you will learn you will understand but provided you are good with your baseline config right so this is about your basic accounts payable in the ECC system now what I want everybody to do is at least try to create one vendor one vendor you try to create an ECC system so that when we do it in S4 HANA system you will have a clarity you will be able to practically understand how we were creating vendors in ECC how we are creating vendors in S4 HANA this is a something that I want everybody to have practical hands-on experience it's not that I will show on my system you will see it and then you will try to understand that is not going to practically work out you must create a vendor in ECC you need not have a company code for that purpose you can use any company code in ECC because this is a client level setting create an account group only three steps assign pick any one company code if you want to take the same company code GSK or any company code that you find pick that company code create a vendor master after creating the vendor master whatever you are doing in accounts payable is exactly the same in ECC and S4 HANA there are no changes until vendor master creation you will find a difference once vendor master is created your accounts payable in ECC accounts payable in S4 HANA are same no changes only till this part you will find a difference in ECC to S4 HANA clear huh? after this it is a simple straightforward whether you do it in ECC or you do it in S4 HANA it will be the same because in ECC you are calling it as vendor in S4 HANA you are calling it as business partner concept of a business partner will end once your vendor master is created once the vendor master is created there is no concept of business partner everywhere you are going to call it as vendor only you will not use a term called BP or business partner once your vendor master is created until vendor master is created you are going to call it as BP term or business partner terminology once it is done you are not going to call it as when business partner you will call it as vendor everywhere you will do the same settings that you do in ECC without any changes but we need to make sure we are practically understanding it we are seeing in the ECC system we are seeing it in S4 HANA system because I am going to do detailed configuration in S4 HANA system now ECC we have seen only to understand the changes only to feel comfortable that what exactly has changed from ECC to S4 HANA any questions on this so far if no I want everybody to do this for accounts receivable also quite opposite whatever the settings we have done here exactly opposite to your accounts receivable right accounts receivable I am not going to configure in ECC I want you to configure on your own even on S4 HANA I will not be configuring accounts receivable baseline config I want you to configure accounts receivable baseline config based on your understanding on accounts payable because this is quite opposite if you understood accounts payable properly you will be able to define accounts receivable settings properly so that is where you are going to verify your understanding clear huh?
I am going to share ECC server details are there with you all. No, right? Sir, sir, I recently joined, sir. I, I'm not having ECC server details. Yeah, I'll share that after the class in the group ECC connection details and the user ID passwords. Okay, sir. So use it only for this purpose. Don't create a company code and all in ECC. Currently, it is not recommended. Okay, only to the extent of this five steps you perform in ECC in any of the existing company codes. Just to get hands on experience so that when we do it in S4 HANA system, your accounts payable baseline setting tomorrow practically because tomorrow I'm going to create complete full fledged accounts payable set up in your s4 hana system since it is only for the testing we took only one vendor account group but tomorrow we are going to write the detailed requirement that you get from your business how you are going to configure it in a project in the similar way we will do in the tomorrow's session all right then if there are no other questions let me stop this recording